So X-Men Dark Phoenix. I would have to say that I did kind of enjoy this one a little bit more than Last Stand, but there's a lot of things in this movie that felt very out of place for me. Very similar to Last Stand as well, certain moments, um, but it was almost like as if you took Last Stand and Captain Marvel and put it together. Now the differences between this one and Captain Marvel are huge, but there are some similarities to where I believe Captain Marvel was the reason why they changed whatever the original ending was. Uh, with that being said though, I really enjoyed the music in this movie. Hans Zimmer, we didn't realize that Hans Zimmer was actually doing the score for this movie until the credits and I'm glad we didn't know because we appreciated the music as it was happening and then at the end we're like oh dang that was Hans Zimmer if that makes sense because I got a lot of different dark night vibes from it uh, and I appreciated that because it did fit with the movie however I don't feel like it's something I could listen to recreationally like some of other Hans Zimmer scores but it did fit in the movie quite well. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, elements to this movie that were enjoyable, mostly towards the end of the movie because it started to pick up a little bit and I feel like they kind of stopped and go, stop and go throughout the whole movie. Right. And I don't know, I just didn't really feel for the characters as much as I really wanted to. Or as much as you have. I've yeah. really felt for these characters before. First Class, Days of Futures Past, and uh, I just didn't feel for them again like I didn't in Apocalypse. So. Um, for me, it's better than Apocalypse. Um, however, it, that's pretty much all it can claim as a victory for me. I didn't. I just felt really bored throughout the movie. It takes about an hour and a half until I was invested, and there's only another half hour after that. So um, that last half hour, I really enjoy it. To me, that felt like X Men. It felt pretty badass to where I'm like, yeah, this is picking up. But unfortunately, that was an hour and a half into the movie. So getting there definitely for me was kind of a chore but the style I loved Sophie's outfit that she was wearing in this with like the jacket and when uh, Jean was you know pulling her Phoenix powers uh, it, it, the way it was just flapping in the wind like it looked cool I really appreciated her look here more so than I did in the last stand um, but all in all when it comes down to it that's pretty much all I can take from this movie was the music the look uh, and then the last half hour of the story. There are certain elements that they decided to take with this movie that I personally didn't feel for and I was like okay I understand the way that they went with it but it just didn't feel X-Men to me when no. they did it so at that point it was kind of like okay and then they moved on to kind of bring it full circle with the story and then that's when it started to pick up a little bit more then that you started to feel for the characters in that way. Right. Um, other than that, I feel like uh, it's okay movie. <laughs> couple of the characters aren't even in this movie, like barely in the movie, and you could pretty much pick that up in the trailer. Right. But yeah, there was one character that I was really hoping to get another good moment from, and we didn't get really anything at all from that character. There are some characters also too from Apocalypse that were part of the group, right. like part of Jean right. and, and them and, and Sky, of and course. they weren't there too, and right. I was kind of like, oh well, you just put them in that movie just to right. be like, oh see you guys, we can't put them yeah. in the movie. But like they should be around anyway. Still, that I know that's just like a little tweak of mine. Of course, but yeah. it, it's I had the same complaint going from first class to Days of Future Past because I did enjoy the characters that were there and they pretty much just killed everyone off screen essentially. But all in all, Simon Kinberg, uh, nice try. But all in all, I am really excited to see what comes from the mutant side of the stories. Now that we are shifting over to the MCU, um, and it was a fun ride while it lasted. But all all in all, I think it did kind of end in a putter. So uh, I would give this one a two out of five. I would give it a little bit of more of a bump at 2.5 sure. okay. out of five because that ending was really great and the music that combined with it, like all those fight scenes yeah. were awesome. Last, so I would give it a little bump for that. Last half hour I really, really enjoyed. But yeah. what did you guys think of Dark Phoenix if you saw it? Let us know in the comments below. You can also like and subscribe. And do the thing on our Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Startup. All the social networking. Jinjo and Tino where they are. Get into the party. Fuel the party. Keep the party going on our Patreon. Gets us where we need to go. Also check out all the Cobra Kai reactions. We did all the reactions to entire season two. Check that out. Available on our channel now. Thank you guys so much. And as always, now it's time to say goodbye. This party is over. Bye. Bye.